variable length array what is this and how is it really different than actually creating a dynamic array let's discuss that so if you see this i'm calling this function here with one two three four five and see here this n is actually used to create an array see so depending on the number the array length would be defined so if i will call this function so i'm passing one here that time array size would be only one and similarly when i'll pass two it will be two so do you see this it is actually acting like a dynamic array it is not totally similar to the malloc or dynamically created array but it is actually a variable array so if i just print whatever the value here is it will be very easy for us to understand this so we have c out e n d l so you can see this right we have this i will compile this and i will run this so it is 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 correct so actually this is acting like a variable array and if you just want to do something dynamically but don't want to go to malloc and then freeing that memory and that tedious stuff then you can actually go with this variable length array and this will also do the same job what malloc is doing but malloc can do whole lot of things like you can shrink and grow and and do all those stuff with that memory but here it is like a fixed memory but i know programming demands lot of times that you just have to pass some variable so that you can make that amount of array and you can start working on that so people generally don't know that actually you can create an array of variable size and now you might be thinking like what is the difference between mallocly created i mean dynamically created array and this variable length array so there are so many at least uh, four to five points actually for that i will discuss that in another video so if you learn something new today and want to help me you share this video to your friends thanks for watching guys bye bye take care